A decent digital microscope is necessary for PCB designers like me. While searching for a good microscope, I found this Link Micro LM246MS microscope on Amazon. This one has a 7 inch display and an HDMI output and also has 3 different lenses. The $189 price is also reasonable, so I ordered one. After 2 weeks, I received the microscope, so here it is. The microscope comes in this pack. Now let's open. First, you can see the user manual, everything is explained in details. Next, we can see the assembly manual with all instructions and images. Now the display. The display is covered with plastic with decent protection. Then we got a remote control, a USB cable, more cables, then a transparent cap. Next a zip lock cover. Inside that we can see some screws and slides, a 32 GB SD card. Next we got two lenses in a box, then a LED box. One more cable. Next a metal frame, then a metallic rod and finally the base frame. Now let's start assembling. First I read the manual carefully and place the rod on the base plate. Then I inserted the main frame into the rod. After this, our microscope looks like this. Now I opened the Ziploc cover. Inside that cover, we got some slides, springs and screws. I secured the screw to the base plate including the spring. This is for holding the sample. Now let's place the display module on the frame. The display module is attached to the lens. So first I remove the lens from the display module. Then I inserted the display module into the round frame and secured it with screws. After that I attached the lens back to the module. Now let's connect the USB cable. In the middle of the cable there are three small switches for controlling the brightness and turning on and off the microscope. On the back side of the display there is a slot for SD card, micro USB and HDMI. Now first I inserted the SD card into the slot then I plugged the micro USB cable. Also I connected the barrel jack to the base frame. Here I connected the USB cable to a 5V adapter and turned on. Now you can see the display. And for the first test, I am going to place this small PCB. Now you can see the magnified image on the display. With the help of these buttons, we can increase and decrease the brightness of the LEDs. Now we can record the videos and take photos with this microscope. Nice.
Now let's connect this LED box to the microscope. Actually this is for inspecting the slides. So we have some slides. These are the slides that comes with the microscope, pine cone stem, honey weaving, etc. To view slides, we have to change the lens. Actually, we have three lenses named A, D and L. The lens D has the minimum object to lens distance, which means we have to place the object near to the lens, but it has the most magnifying power. Lens L has the maximum object to lens distance, which is perfect for PCB soldering and PCB inspection. Now I place the slide in the LED box and you can see the cell structure. This is awesome, right? Here are some PCB soldering videos that I recorded with this microscope. As you see here, the quality is super. I can say this is the one of the best microscope under $190. I will leave the purchase link in the description. If you want, check it out. So that's all about today. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new from my video. If so, please like, share and subscribe. That's all up to you. I will see you with another video. Bye.